Hello traders, welcome to the Elliott Wave Street weekly update. It's January the 23rd. Today in the morning I record I recorded the, the, the this video, but for some weird reason it didn't record the sound. So I have to record it again, which is no problem. But just to let you know in case that you that you watch today in the YouTube channel the the the, the video uh, Yes, wasn't wasn't with sound, so I'm taping again the video, and that's good because we're going to have an updated view of of the markets. All right, so in this um, analysis, Elliott Wave analysis, we are going to cover the euro to come up with a trade, the euro pound to share with you a trade that we find last week and one that is coming, the S and P and gold so we have a uh, some key markets today the the euro has been moving higher on on the four hour chart we can see that the price was trying here to make a distribution process but couldn't a uh, start the, the the move down instead makes a hard high so i want to talk uh, today about a little trick to filter out a wave two when it's not going to work. Let's say that we have a wave one here as an impulse, the price was going up, whatever. And here comes wave two. Wave two should look something like this, where we can have the A, the B and the C, a three wave sequence. The, the, the C wave, the last leg of, of the corrective wave should be losing momentum if we compare A, a versus C should be with the small candles and then we should have a nice red candle supply candle giving confirmation that is a corrective and that's where we can sell it so instead of filling up the the chart with a lot of fibonacci levels or things that doesn't work or that don't provide any value at all we can just use an abc and when the candle closes under a at any level we, are, we can trade it on the other hand, if we have the A, the B, but the C starts moving aggressively here, we know that the price is likely to take out the high and it's going to reach a hard high. So you are not going to do crazy things trying to find the end of a two that is not a two anymore. So in this example on the euro last week, we have that thing. So I was looking for this leg as a one. This is an A, this is a B. And look, the C leg, the C leg breaks a breaks this high and continues higher right so we can sell it that's it so so here we we are in the hourly chart finding the top of this market we have one we have two we have three we have four and now i'm looking for the way five so we just need the um, a fresh high the rejection as a one then as a two, right? And, and then the wave three. But here, the trading plan is going to be extremely simple and objective. When the price moves above this area, taking out the stops, and we see the price rejecting, which means a candle closing under three, that's the sell trade. That's one way to validate the end of a wave. When we have the price reaching the the stops area and the rejection and that's where we can trigger the trade the stop loss should be 30 40 points i like to trade with 30 points so that could be interesting let's have a look at another one the euro pound so here um I, i'm going to show you the the setup that we find last week as as a trading example and then we're going to come with a trade at the at the real market at the live market um i i believe in active learning active learning is when you learn doing when you learn applying when you learn in real life and passive learning is when you learn from books when you learn from past examples and then you try to apply that in real life usually is more complex right than learning with a professional that 
learning with someone with the enough experience to to show you how to 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 apply the the, the concepts in the real life, right? So I, I believe that active learning is key to success. So uh, when we have A here, uh, when, when we have the corrective, sorry, here I sell it at the 88.75 with a protective stop loss at the 89.75. I, I like to use a 30 point stop loss most of my trades. When, when the price reaches the one to one risk reward ratio, so we sell it here, right? The stop was here, so this extra leg, we were good. But when we reach the 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 one to one risk reward ratio, so here we risk thirty and we go for thirty, uh, we should do something. That something uh, you can pick from different different options. You can move your stop to break even if you want to keep the hold position. You can take out fifty percent of the of the position. You can take out thirty percent. You can take out twenty uh, percent. But once we we get to the one to one risk reward ratio, you need to do something to make sure that it's already a safe trade. A safe trade is that moment in, in the, during the trade where no matter what happens next, you're, you're making money or you're going to be at the break even. So what I like to do, I think this is pretty personal, but what I like to do is booking 50% out of my trade. So let's say that I short here with 10 lots, not always risking 1% or less of the account. So of course this number is going to change accordingly to the account size but as an example uh, let's say that we we trigger short 10 lots and here the one to one where we can take 5 right in profits and we leave the others run last week at this area we were talking that the wave 1 was going to be done and uh, we we take out uh, two more so I'm keeping 3 and here um, we are going to talk now about the live markets, right? So, so something that I do uh, to help my clients uh, to to f to learn this technique fast, you know, to get results fast. I share my trades. I have inside the Elliott Wave Street membership a Telegram channel, well, channel where I I post my trades, my swing trades, plus a, a daily video. Monday to Friday, where I explain what I'm doing, where I where I explain what what, what is happening and 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 the and the live market analysis, right? So that's part of active learning. So so you can see that uh, here we are in the corrective two, and the plan this week is having one one new new high to complete the wave two. Once the price reaches this area and we have a supply showing up here. I'm going to sell again, so I'm going to add to the position. Of course, if we don't have any trade, we can start a new position. And let's see how it goes, because on the on the daily chart, traders, I'm looking for a big sell-off on the euro pound, you know, but something huge, something big. I'm looking for the 82, right? So probably I'm going to keep part of the trade. During the road to back to the 82, let's say one or two contracts um, to capture those 600 points. That's my bigger plan on, on this bigger time frame. But for, for on, on the lower time frames, uh, like the hourly chart, uh, this is going to be the way to trigger. We use lower time frames to accelerate the entry. This is the S&P. On the S&P, today in the morning, we were... Uh, looking for something a little bit different because I was, well, no, not different. I was looking at the price here to find out if we will have the, the price making the high or not. So when we are in a corrective wave, let's say that this was A, B, and C, clearly C departs aggressively to the upside. So clearly this is not a sell trade at all. So in, in, the, in the video that I posted today in the YouTube channel, but I unlisted because it was with no, no sound. We were here and I was talking about these possibilities. So this was possible. And now the next step is that the price can collapse from here, but I think we need to have a hard high, ideally. And here this rejection after the five wave sequence, I would like to sell it. Uh, that could be the aggressive entry. 
Another way of triggering the trade is waiting for an impulse and then the three wave sequence and, and selling after the ABC. So there are two ways of triggering a trade with the Elliott theory. Those are the best ones, of course, at the end of the trend or at the first corrective. Of course, after that, we can add or we can do other things. But these two are going to be the main trades. Let's have a look at the um, a gold. Gold is moving nicely as well. Um, I'm looking this week for a hard high on gold. So once the price reaches the high and we have some sellers coming into the market, so we, we are likely to have here one, two, three, four, five, and some sellers coming in here. Uh, to find the sellers on the hourly chart is my favorite time frame to confirm. I look for a nice red candle, right? For example, look at the sellers here, right? The end of five, the price moves down. Um, so so I'm looking for, for something like that here. Could be with tails, could be with just with the body, whatever. But but some so, so in some way to find out that we have some some good sellers at that area, and then we can just uh, start following the leg down. So it seems like a good trade to follow as well. And traders, we have a fantastic uh, membership on EliotWaveStreet.com. Here on the membership tab, you will find all the details. We have the forex, the stocks, and the full access. The plan is that you get the daily analysis, Monday to Friday, with the charts and the videos. And also, you are going to get access to the library of education. So we have a members area with education, where we have the Momentum course, the Elliott Wave, cra Elliot Wave Crash course. If you are new to the Elliott Wave Theory, or if you want to master the Elliott Wave Theory, that course is fantastic. We have a Volume Profile course and other important things inside the education area. So you can sign up. Uh, your first month will be just $19, then $75 per month. So this is the special. You can trial the, the service for just $19. Uh, you will get immediate access to the live market analysis, to the reports and everything. I'm also posting a new report during the afternoons about the S&P. So I'm updating the S&P during the afternoons as well. So a lot of things inside. If you want to master the LOA theory, if you want to learn, if you want to learn how to find the end of the waves using supply and demand and institutional cycles, we are having here. We we have here inside some great content. So thank you very much for your time. Please have a fantastic start of your week. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.